Bye, guys. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine, are you? Good. I'm just, I'm having problems with my camera. Just give me a moment. Something's not right. Just give me a second. Okay, um, well, in the meantime, um, how have you guys been? Pretty good? Very well, th thank you. Yeah? Yes, waiting for tomorrow <laughs> because it's Friday. Yay! Yes, I know, it's Friday at last. Okay, just give me a second. Um, okay. There's a, a problem there with the backdrop. So let me just try to figure out this out. Do you guys have plans for this weekend? You guys have plans for the weekend? No, teacher. For my case, I I don't have a plan yet. Not yet, but you're going to have one. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> because I know more in my house. You know what in your house did you say? I don't get war, bored in my house, sorry, bored. You don't get bored in your house? You don't or you do? You don't. You don't get bored in your house? Uh, yeah. Okay, I see. Okay. Yeah, there's something weird going on with my, with my camera. Maybe if you go out and go in again? No, I'm going to try with another camera. It's going to look a little different, but I'm going to have to try with the other one. And how was your day today? Pretty good. Anywhere, but fine. You're fine? I see a few people right now. Yeah, there are a few people. You're right about that. Maybe because it's the game of El Salvador. Oh, really? <laughs> oh in the right. United States. Okay, thanks oh. for reminder. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh but Ivan is yeah, here. I'm going to have less students now. But now we see you, teacher. Yes, I know. Um, yes, now I, I, had to lit, I had to literally flip the, um, the backdrop because um, I think what was the problem was that my, you know, my backdrop is usually blue. 
And since the uh, my shirt mm -hmm. is like a very similar color, then it was like completely like uh, I, I looked white, completely white. Um. Um, so so I had to change the bla the backdrop so that I, I wasn't because I was like disappearing completely. Mm. So now you guys can see me. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. All right. Let me see. All right, guys, welcome to today's class. Let me just fix this quickly. Okay, there you go. You guys can see me better now. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we're going to be starting with our um, our attendance as usual. Um, so let's start with um, our usual. <laughs> you know, Present teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you, know who you are. Oh. Okay. Just give me a second. But for the record, you must say my name. <laughs> Yes, for you, the record, I must say. Uh, I know. Okay. All right. Let's, let's start that. Um, okay. So, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Wonderful. And Andres? Andres? No, not here. Okay. What about uh, Claudia? No, not here either. Oh my goodness, you're right. You're absolutely right, um, Ana Claudia. <laughs> you are missing out a lot of people. <laughs> no, teacher, I say that there is a few. Oh, people. it was you. Okay, sorry. I, I thought it was it was Ana Claudia. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Edgar. Uh, Irvin. Heidi. No, right? Okay. Irene. Irene? No. Okay. Ivan. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Um, Jose Montes? No, right? Okay. Jose Ayala? No? Okay. Uh, Josue? Present teacher. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right, good. Um, Jerry? No, okay. Uh, Luis? No, right? Okay. Uh, Natalia? Present teacher. Okay. And Ronald? Present teacher. Yeah. And Wendy? No? Warner? And Yvonne? Wow, we are missing a lot of people. Wow, okay. Um, Se suspende por falta de quorum. ¿Cómo? Se suspende la, la reunión por falta de quorum. De acuerdo al artículo del Código de Comercio. Uh -huh, right. <laughs> yeah, we say in English, in your dreams. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. And so uh, let me just make sure I didn't miss anybody, although I don't think so. <laughs> Andres, Claudia, Edgar, Heidi, Irene, Jose Montes, Jose Ayala, Jerry, Luis, Wendy, Warner, Anyone? No. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay. Okay. No problem. <laughs> well, we well. It, I guess it will be a very personalized class today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Yuri, Yuri is, is in right now. He's connecting oh, right now. Ah, he's connecting. 
Tonight is not break a rule. <laughs> Hello, Yuri. Bravo, Yuri. Just say present. <laughs> Good night. Good night, everyone. Are, are you saying bye to everybody or, or what? <laughs> Goodbye or good evening? Which one? Good evening. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were already saying bye to everybody. It's like, oh, okay, I'm I'm here. Bye. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. 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 All right, guys. Well, um, thank you for for joining for being here on time. Um. I know that for some of you, you would prefer to be somewhere else, <laughs> but I really prefer, I, I, sorry, I really appreciate you guys doing this. Um, it really shows your commitment. Um, so in fact, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's something that we take into account uh, whenever we uh, register for new levels and everything to see the commitment that you guys have. So I really appreciate that. Okay, so we are going to begin. Um, just give me one second. Oh, um, by the way, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for the people that, um, well, I, I saw basically everybody uh, did the work in the platform, uh, did, doing the exercises that you were supposed to do. So I thank you for that. Um, because I could see that you guys worked hard on that. Um, also, um, I saw some people had already um, started and finished um, the midterm. Um, I think I saw somebody that had done like a final. So, wow, I'm, I'm really impressed. I, I, and that's what you guys should be doing, working, um, you know, to, to practice more, you know, and they're really not that difficult to exercise as you guys can do it. So um, I'm really happy that you guys are practicing that. I really appreciate it. Um, that way you guys can um, almost guarantee uh, your, your enrollment in the next level. But that's, that's the objective, right? So that you guys can continue moving on to the next level and that way you guys will be able to finish the the program right that's that's what we intend to do okay um do you guys have any questions at this moment about the platform something you want to address no no did you no so it's all okay Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, good. 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 Um, in that case, guys, we are going to start with our presentation, and I want you guys to tell me uh, when you can see my PowerPoint. So. Okay. Just give me a moment. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, okay, so today we're going to be looking at how to use transitions of addition. Okay. And um, the, well, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate two, and it's class number two. Present, teacher. Good evening. Who's present? <laughs> I don't know who's present. Werner. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Thank you. All right, you're gonna have to tell me present in the next time that I, I pass attendance because I know I don't have the attendance right now. Okay. <laughs> but thank you for letting us know. Um okay, so let's start. Yesterday we saw this conversation. Do you guys remember the conversation between Moses and Fernanda? Mm -hmm. Remember this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to get you guys to do, the first thing is I need you to um, work with a partner. Okay. And you're going to be practicing this conversation between Moses and Fernanda. 
uh, try to make sure that you pronounce the words correctly. So pay attention to your classmates' pronunciation. Um, so if they're pronouncing something incorrectly, tell them, you know, tell them, oh, no, you, ha you have to pronounce like this. And, you know, don't be afraid to correct your classmate. And also don't, don't feel bad if your partner corrects you. OK, because that's what it is about. It's it's about helping each other. Right. Because um, the more we are able to work together and help each other, then the better we're going to get at things. Right. OK, so um, please practice this conversation and then answer these three questions. OK. All right. OK, so today it's not going to be difficult to get you guys into breakout rooms going to be like around just two break a room <laughs> two break a room that's it i'm just kidding there, there is some more people right now there are not that many they're like half of the class <laughs> I the yeah, other. No, but the middle of the class yeah half of the class that's what we have okay. this is there's, there's supposed to be 19 of you and right now i have 10 of you 10 <laughs> You know, that's how it is. Anyways, okay, so, um, all right, so let's open the teams, the, the, the groups right now. Sure, sure, Moses. We will have three groups of at least uh, 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will work with targeted or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right because we want to find out the other perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, let's switch it. Yes. And now I'm Moses. Okay. Had you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will work with targeted or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed quest quest questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, okay. right. So... The chair is furthermore, the pronunciation of that word, furthermore. Furthermore, furthermore, I don't know. Yes. Um, let me just check. Furthermore. Where, where is furthermore? In the last paragraph, the last intervention of Moses. The last intervention of Moses. Furthermore. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is furthermore or furthermore? Yes. Furthermore. Furthermore. For, with for, you? Furthermore. For, 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 FR. FR. Furthermore. FR. Furthermore. Ah, okay. Furthermore. Write it. Furthermore. Okay, thank you. So I guess we can start answer the questions. Uh -huh. The first one mm -hmm. is how many yeah. focus groups will participate in the test? 
Three, three groups. Three. Okay. Three focus groups. Uh-huh. Three groups. And the second. What type of sample mm -hmm. has Fernanda selected for their testing process? The random, the random sample. We will go for the random sample. In the Fernanda. The Fernanda last intervention. Ah, to find out the other position we will go. Ah, random. Or, mm -hmm. Random. Who will be monitoring each group and the location of each? You're right because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Under Morse, uh, it is uh, necessary to create Great. a will dis designate. Design. Well, your name? Well, well designed. Well designed. Well, well designed. Sorry, teacher. Well designed. Oh, okay, don't you know? Questionnaire uh, to get the specific information we required. He'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we work on it. Well, okay. once again, the next, the Practice. one more time. One more, okay. Me most or I'm you? I'm Fernanda. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moses. We will we will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. From in that's why I think Lucas and Moises is going to worry in that part of the questionnaire. Uh, I agree. I, I, I met Lucas today in the afternoon, so we were on, on it. Uh -huh. What is the correct pronunciation of questionnaire? Questionnaire. Questionnaire. Yes. Questionnaire. This is like a questionnaire. Yes. Questionnaire. Questionnaire. Okay. Not, 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 um, yes. questionnaire, but it's questionnaire. Questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we finished. Okay. Um, so you were able to practice? Yeah, you practice. We practice. Or so do you want to practice again? Okay. Okay. Let go. Let go to read again. I'm going to be Moises again. Okay. Had you made any progress with the with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of uh, leads, 24 participants to call it aquatic. We will, will we work with target or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring, monit monitoring each group and the location for each. You're right because we want to find out the overall uh, perception of the product. We will go for a... For, furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed question, questionnaire, questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we worry on it.
Okay, you guys finished then? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, I'll see you guys in the main room then. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Let me see. Perdimos a uno, Houston. No ha venido. Ahí está ya. <ríe> Iván, tuvo que ver. Hey, why me? Why me? <ríe> ¿Cómo el partido? ¿no? <ríe> ¿Sabe? ¿Quién lo está pasando? Gol de caer. Cero, 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 cero. Ah. Gracias a Inglés Corporativo. <ríe> Promoción de descuento por, por gol, ¿verdad? Ah, pues, ya, ah, pues no va a haber descuento. Sí, eso le dije yo. Es más, creo que le pueden aumentar a las bebidas. <risa> teacher, si ganamos, no hay clase de mañana, teacher. Y ganlo. Ah, ah, eh. ah, pues, no, si perdemos, no va a haber clase de mañana. Ganando una cosa por otra. Eh, ¿Quiénes son los que están jugando? Eh, en El Salvador, Estados Unidos. El Salvador, Estados Unidos, teacher. Where do you live, teacher? I'm sorry. No, ella vivió en Canadá. Es ella, Estados Unidos, no, es Canadá, va, teacher. That's right. I know. So, ella es solo fútbol americano, le gusta. No, ah, no y hay un deporte hockey. bien chivo de una cosa como que es plato que deslizan en el hielo, no sé cómo. Teacher, hockey. teacher, hockey. and what part of Canada? And what part, uh, what part of Canada you did, did you live? Vancouver. Ah, en Cuba. Cuba. Ah, de los mejores lugares de Cuba. Oh, but Canada, you speak French. Are you? Yes, uh, she used to French speak French. Before. Um, uh, right now, I'm practicing my French again in Duolingo. <laughs> no, I just can imagine if you don't use it frequently as English. Mm -hmm. Wow. You forgot. Yeah, I, I read that some part of the Canada is necessary to speak two languages in some states. In some, they're, they're actually called provinces. Um, so provinces. Canada has 10 provinces and two territories. Um, it's the official language. There are two official languages, English and French. But anywhere in Canada that you go, um, you can you can speak both languages like it's not like they they will require you have to speak both languages you can speak one or the other right so yeah but there are certain but the majority of canada speaks more english than french mm -hmm. now that's like the majority the the, the biggest part mm -hmm. so we can in, in Canada, we actually, um, our national sport is hockey. So, uh, so I know hockey, but I don't know soccer. I'm sorry. But that is the one that use some instrument. No, I say there is another one that is like, um, they don't use any other thing. No, hockey is the one that there are two teams and they have like a, a this. It's a disc, a high, it's a disc, the one. But it's called the puck. Uh huh. Oh. So, so there's a puck in the middle, and mm. um, and they ah, okay hockey sticks, and they go from one to the other. And I like it because, well, uh, apart from the fact that you know it's a national sport, and I'm used to it, um, I like it because it's fast. You know, it's like it's a because it's an ice skating, no ice skating. Ice. 
I skated. Yes. Yes. So they I skate very quickly from one side to the other side to the other side. So it's like very fast and you there's always a lot of action. Um, so I like it because of that. And then when I so when I see um, soccer, I kind of get bored because it takes them <laughs> a long time to get from one part of the of the the uh, of uh, of the, the other side of the, of the... the other side <laughs> so it's like it takes them forever to go to the other side so then i'm like oh my goodness right so that's why <laughs> i i'm not so much of a soccer fan but but you know i i i root also curling what is curling curling uh yes curling is um another sport yeah that is the one that i say that is the one that i've never seen in the first time I saw it. Wow, what is that? That is the one that I, I'm looking for some pictures. Curling. That is the, the sport that I was telling you. Not hockey, it's curling. Yes, curling. curling is, uh, es como la yes, I have, but it's never <laughs> seen that uh, sport before. Was I like it. Yeah, um, actually, uh, but curling is more it's not um uh, it's not like it's a sport right but it's not a team sport in sense oh. that, in the sense that it's like it's mostly well it's a team sport in the sense that it like they involve like people that mm -hmm. one that throws it and the other one that is like um cleaning the ice basically mm -hmm. clean the ice to make it go faster but um, but it's not like uh, like a team sport in the sense that you know one team is playing uh -huh. another team and you know like that yeah. So that's for me it was the first time I saw it. Why is is that a strange scene? But but I like it. It looks uh, nice. Yeah, I winter sports are really interesting. I I mm -hmm. really like winter sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, curling is a uh, Olympics game on ice. Exactly, I saw it in the Olympics. That is when I said, "What is this?" Yes. Uh -huh. yeah sports you're right mm -hmm. so anyways guys uh, enough about sports um okay so anyway we're gonna go back to our class okay uh, okay so we are going to check the answers tell me if you can see oh hold on you can see it right yes you can okay so how many focus groups will participate in the test? Three. Three focus groups. Three. Good. Excellent. All right. Uh, and how many people in each group? 24. 24. 24. 24. Yeah, 24. Very good. So it's going to be a lot of people. Mm -hmm. What type of sample has Fernando selected for their testing process? Random sample. Random sample. Very good. Mm -hmm. Who will design the questionnaire? Moses and Lucas. Moses yeah. and Lucas. Mm -hmm. Moses and Lucas. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, excellent. Um, notice this word is questionnaire. Okay, questionnaire. 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 It addresses on the nair. Uh, so questionnaire. No. Okay. Question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, yeah. No, no, that's it. Okay. Very good, guys. Any questions at this point or uh, about our conversation? Mm. No. me. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue learning new vocabulary and and we're going to continue talking about um, doing test uh, sort of product testing for well, a different product. And so what we're going to do is we're going to we have here the product development and testing. This is this is a product development and testing of a real um uh, of a real yeah. is, um i need you guys to 
work with a partner. Well, actually, we're going to work in groups of three. Well, a saber si nos va a alcanzar para groups of three. <laughs> okay, no, but I think we, I think we will. Um, yeah, we'll just have one group of four. Let me see. Let's see. Ah, yeah. Oh my goodness. We lost somebody. <laughs> we lost somebody. Okay, anyways. Um, so we'll get, have groups of three. And we're gonna read this this um this uh product development and testing information. I want you to read the same thing as before circle any words that you didn't um, that you didn't understand, words that you're not sure about the pronunciation, okay? And at the end, we're gonna try to guess um, if, you, if you can find out what is the company that this is um, the product development and testing for, okay? Because it is for a well-known company, okay? Sounds good? Teacher, these okay. all paragraphs, uh, there, there are in the book, are there in the book? Okay, if this is not in the book. So I need you guys to, um, to make a screenshot. Yeah, a picture, screenshot, whatever you wanna take, okay? And I'm gonna give you 10 minutes. It's not a long paragraph, but I want you to discuss words that you don't understand. And um, also pronunciation too, so. Okay. You ready? Okay, let's open all the rooms here. Yes. Teacher, so we need to read it and then find out which company is the one. Oh, okay. Hayden. Okay. You, you, hmm? say, uh, uh, you're always together. Uh, yes, I was telling to them. Uh -huh. uh, we've been working together. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, and I don't do it on purpose. Like it's it's random. It's like <laughs> weird. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we need to read and find the 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 company. Yes, figure out what the company is, and also look at vocabulary, pronunciation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, I don't know if Jose want to read it. Yeah. <laughs> well, never launch a product unless we consider it it perfect. Our product development teams create every shirt, every shoe, and every piece of equipment for thousands of athletes and fashion lovers as is, it was of one akin kind. And it truly is a day with their pa passion into every single product but translating designs, drawing and rendering into real products requires a lot of decision making. Therefore, we all share an infinite imagination and a critical eye for details and cost. What happened? Bernard, do you see the screenshot? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. In this moment, and copy space. Let it copy space. What happened, guys? Uh, we are trying to read. Uh, are we going to read on um, on this on the group? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's go to read. I'm going to read the first part of the paragraph. Well, never launch a product on unless we consider it perfect. Our product development team created every shirt, every shoe, and every piece of equipment to thousand of for thousand of athletic uh, athletes and fashion lovers as if, uh, if athletes. It, what athletes athletes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Athletes. 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 Yeah. Ath okay. Mm -hmm. Athletes and fashion lovers. What is a fashion lovers? As a people that love fashion. Um, van con la moda, lo último de la moda. Sale un teléfono, lo quieren ellos. Yeah. Ese tipo de gente. Fashion, fashion lovers as es, if es, it was one of one of como la ropa de temporada es por temporada mm, so, con la moda sí. yes. lovers as if it was one of a kind and it truly is as they wave is this onda verdad teacher wave of their passion into every single product. No, weave. No, that's not wave. It's weave. Weave. Um, como tejer. Mm. Okay. Go ahead. Who is going to read now? Now. Uh, uh, Siguiente, and, mm -hmm. the, and it uh, truly is as I know the word of passion in every single product, but sounds lighting, designs, drive, driving, and rendering. In for real product required a lot of decision making. Next, uh, Francisco. Okay. Uh, therefore, we all share an infinite imagination and a critical aid for the time and cost. If you are also a de developer uh, who already has the final product in my when you see the first idea to join us young and um, put these ideas in into practice practice and the pronunciation of the print is prices or price Price check. Uh, price. Prices check. Prices. I don't know. Okay. Um, Which one at the, the very end? The last line. Yeah, this, the, the second to last word. Precise. Precise. Uh, precise. The word is precise. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. So you're talking okay. you're talking about this word, right? Uh, 
Yes. Yes, it's precise. Precise. Mm -hmm. Sign, yes. Okay. And the other teacher driving, driving, a scissor, a driving. And um, this is the, the finish, the first part of driving. Drawing. Drawings. This one? Drawing. Damn. Hold on. Give me a moment because I'm I have to sign. Um so you're talking about what is the pronunciation of that word? Of that word? You're talking about this word? Press press pre, pre, oh, precision, Precise. 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 Precise for drawings. Mm -hmm. and the re precise and the rendering teacher. Mm -hmm. We're, we'll, we'll talk about the pronunciation as a class so that everybody can benefit from, from the... Just right now, find the words that you, you don't know how to pronounce it, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Atletico. At como era? What was the pronunciation? At Atletis. Atletis. You see the first idea. You see Jonas and put these ideas into precise shape. shape. What is the right pronunciation? Precise. 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 Presses. Mm -hmm. Presses. Precise. Oh, no, precise. Precise. Yes. Precise. 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 Mm -hmm. Precise shape. Yes. Shape. Precise shape. Precise shape. Mm, I think it's only that word. Mm, yes, I think we... I agree with you. Mm -hmm. At least, at least. Are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Anybody yes. need more time? Yes. No. no. Okay. All right. So I will see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. okay. Recording in progress is like the teacher in the house. <laughs> any, any comment uh, about the match in the USA? And I see that you have one eye in the computer, Ivan, and the other eye in, on your television. <laughs> uh, no, it, yes, I I have one eye in, my, in the computer, but <laughs> it's for my work. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yes. 
truly. Ay, se ay, le ay, llama ay, el partido ay, ahora. Ay, si estuviera en el partido, estuviera cabeceando el sueño. Ay, Galo. De verdad, no, 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 no soy muy dado a ver la selección nacional. Mm. What, what, what is your favorite team, Ivan? Um, de aquí ajedrez, va a decir. ¿Ah? El ajedrez va a decir. Oh, yes. ah. <laughs> your favorite soccer team. <laughs> Barcelona. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Ah, yeah, sorry, man. Why? <laughs> Okay, I, I, I white. I have a feeling I'm going to start a, a, a Real Madrid. So. Alianza. ¿Cómo no te voy a querer? <laughs> okay, uh, estar, equi estar equivocado no lo hace malo a uno. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hilarious. Okay. All right. No, Ma only marketing, no, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Um, no, really, uh, do you guys know the score? Are we winning by any chance? <laughs> I don't know. Werner is the narrator. Al estilo KL. <laughs> Werner, do you know how, how we're doing? Nos perdimos, Houston. No nos escucha, ¿ves? My coworker said is zero, zero. Zero, zero. Ah, ok. So, there's still hope. There's still hope. Ok, thanks. Ok, great. Ok, va. Hoy se ya están tranquilos, ¿verdad? Hoy sí podemos continuar con la clase. <laughs> ok. All right. So, um, actually, speaking of that, you know what? I'm going to take attendance right now because I'm probably going to go into this and we're going to take a little bit of time. So, let's just take attendance right now. Okay. De todos modos, me va a tardar como que, like, 30 seconds. Dos minutos. <laughs> 30 seconds to get everybody. Okay. Uh, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Uh, Andres. No, right? Okay. Um, Claudia. Okay. Uh, Edgar. Okay. Uh, Irvin. Present teacher. Great. Heidi. Irene. Ivan. Present. In, in box teacher, in box. <laughs> uh, Jose Jose, sorry, Jose Montes and then Jose Ayala and Juan Francisco present teacher okay and Josue present teacher all right and Jerry present teacher okay and Luis Luis? Present teacher. Okay, great. And uh, Natalia? Present teacher. And Ronald? Ah, yeah, hoy sí, entendí que no, a, quién, a, a quién perdimos. <laughs> okay, yo creo que Ronald cuando yo se acordó y se, y se fue a... <laughs> Se fue a, a revisar ahí cómo iban las cosas. No, I'm just joking. Um, okay. Eh, Wendy? Present. Okay. Warner? Present, teacher. All right. And uh, Yvonne? Present. All right, excellent. Hey, we, we, got, we got a few people back. Excellent. Okay. So, um, Okay, so we're going to continue here checking the answers, or better said, checking the. Just give me a moment, guys. Just one little second. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Okay. Let, me, let me share again the PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Yes, teacher. Good. All right, so this is the product development and testing. Okay, so first I'd like you guys to write in the chat vocabulary that you didn't understand. With. No, 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 just, um, just tell me if there is any vocabulary that you didn't understand what it is. And you can write the, the vocabulary in the, in the chat if you didn't understand something. Okay. The word weave, weave. Weave. They weave their, their passion. Okay. Another one? So remember, this is at this point right now. I'm just asking um, for the vocabulary that you didn't understand. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it. I'll give you ten seconds just just to make sure I have that you guys haven't. Okay. All right. So that would be it then. Okay. Let's start with the first one. Weaving. The or weep. Sorry, just weep. Okay. Weave is um, similar to sew, right? Um, but weave is um, with like your hands. You sew something with your hands. That's weave, okay? Um, uh, so you can weave, um, you can like, you can weave uh, a sweater, right? Um, so you, with your hands, you create the sweater uh, with like the needle and the thread. Okay, that's weave. Do we understand the word weave? Yeah, teacher. And what about the word wave? Okay, wave is different. Uh, wave is like this. Not the wave, the, the one for the sea. I say, for example, when you discount some something. Oh, wave. Like that. Ah, uh, with I. Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yes, there is wave, like um, like this, right? Like uh huh. Uh huh. And also this 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 is also wave. Okay. Oh. That's also, that means to say hi. Um, oh, he waved hello, right? So it means like to do a motion with your hand, okay? okay. And then there's the other wave, which means um, when you, um, you have- Discount. Uh, like a fee, 
a fee you mm-hmm. have to pay, and you say, okay, you don't have to pay that anymore. Mm-hmm. It's waived. Okay. And this other is weave. Okay, this great. Weave. Thank you. Weave. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay, all right. Uh, drawings. Drawings um, are pictures that you, that you make with your pencil, okay? So if you make a, a picture with a pencil, that's a drawing, okay? So taking a pencil and like, a, um, you know, drawing a tree and a, a lake, you know, and, and creating this beautiful scenery, that's a drawing, okay? Also, um, you know, you can draw, like, for example, architects. Architects draw a lot, right? They they create the the scheme of the of the building, right? So they draw. Okay. Do we understand drawings? Drawings is the pronunciation. Drawings. Sorry. The pronunciation is drawings. Mm, okay. The pronunciation is drawings. Drawings. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so do we understand drawings? Clear for everybody? So the, the short word is draw, that is a picture. Draw, or yes. not is a picture, that is when you use a pencil and, and draw something. <laughs> yes. But the drawings, it, it, oh, okay. okay. Draw is drawings or drawings? Drawings are uh, drawings. 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 Okay. It's a noun. Okay. It's a noun. In Spanish, son como los bocetos. Bocetos, ajá, o esquema. Dibujos. 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 Okay. But can you repeat the pronunciation, teacher? Drawing. Yeah. I I heard I heard a drawing, right? Draw, drawings, drawings, or drawing, drawing. or you could say draw, drawing. drawings. But it, it's 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 okay to say drawings or drawings. Both. Ways. You can say you can say drawing too. Huh? You can say drawing too. With like a G in the middle? Drawing, no. Draw, drawings or drawings. Wings, drawings. Drawings, drawings. or drawings. Mm. Or drawings. People will understand you if you say either one. Drawings, drawings or drawings. They're, oh, they're okay. okay. Yeah. Why? All right, because I've heard it. I've heard it both ways. Drawings, drawings. Um, yeah, but that's it. Only those two. I don't. I think I don't think I've heard any others. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Renderings. The word renderings. Um, refers to um, hold on, but translating designs, drawings, and renderings. Um, yeah, it's like a, Chair, I was telling to my colleagues that I was using this word in the past when I was working with computers and servers, rendering is like uh, something like mirroring, mm -hmm. uh, something similar. Sorry? Rendering is something like a mirror, like something similar, very similar. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, yes, um, exactly. There, there are many different meanings 
mm. uh, depending on the context. Okay, mm. so I'm just trying to figure out what the meaning is in this context. Mm. Um, I'm just trying to figure out which one would be would fit the this context. Um, yeah. Um, so in this context, I think renderings. Um, yeah, I think it has to do with what you what you mentioned before, um, Anna Claudia if she's still there. Ah, oh, there she is. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, like you disappeared for a moment there. Oh. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where'd she go? I'm here. Um, yeah, so you said that you use it for what? When we've been working with uh, computers and servers, so uh, Ren, it was like similar to mirroring like one is the same as the other something like that i remember that something like that was but i not, i wasn't sure mm, i think this we're talking we're talking about um uh, yeah mm, like um Yeah, and, and not not mirroring, but something that is like, uh, como, hold on, let me just, just give me let let me just make sure that I've got it correct because I don't want to give you guys um, a wrong idea. Um, Repaint. What? Repaint. Repaint. Um, it would be more like a like a recreation. I think it would be more mm, this, okay. This, when in website and when you are is rendering a page, is would you recreate a page again? Yeah, exactly. Mm. It, like I said, rendering has many different meanings depending on the context, and I think in this one, the best one that fits would be like a recreation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's continue. The word therefore. Okay. Therefore is actually um a word that we're going to what it's actually a, a transition, and we're going to be talking about transitions today. The word therefore means um, after you've talked about something, it's like a conclusion uh, because of the thing that you talked about before. So um, it's like, a, let's say like a consequence, okay? It's like, for example, if I say to you, um, I don't know. I would love to travel the world, but it's very expensive. Therefore, I have to save up a lot of money. So it's like, okay, so it's very, it's very uh, expensive to travel the world. So my conclusion is I have to save up a lot of money. So we say the word therefore. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody? Yes, no. Maybe you. Guys? Yes, no. Yes, yes. Me perdieron en el en en el partido. En el limbo. <laughs> No, en el partido, creo que se me han perdido. No? Oh, what? We are here. Yeah, you're there. Hello? 
Hello. Hello. Where's Houston? <laughs> So we got a problem. Yes, we miss the people. Problem. Ivan is sleeping. <laughs> no, I can't. I hear. I am here. Okay. The teacher, I I'm paying attention. She was asking you if you are clear with the meaning of therefore. Oh yeah. Por lo tanto. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Therefore, I am Ivan. What? What was that, Werner? Uh, therefore, I am Ivan. Therefore, I am Ivan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you okay, sure. All right. And the last one is precise. Precise means um, specific. Okay. Uh, it's very similar to Spanish. Very, very similar to Spanish, right? Preciso. So, yeah, preciso. Mm -hmm. Okay. Preciso, exacto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like uh, accurate. Accurate. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. An accurate, exact. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, let's call, talk about vocabulary. Uh, please tell me any vocabulary that you guys want want to go over. Uh, sorry, not vocabulary. Uh, pronunciation. Sorry, any pronunciation words that you don't want you want to go over. You guys can write in the chat if you want. Okay. Okay, any others? Come on guys, there was, I know I heard lots of you guys talking about this when, when we were, when I was visiting the groups. So I know there are questions. Anything else? Not teacher. We are okay. Really? Hey, what does it mean unless in this context? A menos. A menos que. Mm -hmm. Unless, where is unless? And the product next to the product in the first line. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Unless al menos que. Any other words? Okay, all right. Pronounce it with me. Unless. Uh, yes. Unless. Uh, okay. Okay. Athletes. 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 Good. Make sure you pronounce the th in there, okay? So it's not athletes. Athletes? No, it's ath athletes. 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 That's right. Athletes. Swiss Athlete. Austria. Okay. Athletes. Developer. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Excellent. So tell me what company do you guys think we're talking about here? 
which is this company? A company of a sports clothes? Yes, it is a definitely a company for sports clothes. Like Adidas. That's exactly what it is. Yes, very good. Very, very good. Bravo. Very good. You got it, Jerry. Um, very good. Yeah, that's what it is. It's actually Adidas. Would you have guessed that it was Adidas? But to be Under Armour, Nike. I saw, uh -huh, I saw Nike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Adidas. Yeah. It could be. It could be anyone. No. Yeah. Yeah. But this is actually from Nike, from, from Adidas. Even Bracos. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bracos. That is a national Even brand. Even Bracos by ADOZ. Oh, ADOZ. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You guys. Well, it's good to, to, um, to have dreams. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. Like Luther King. How do you say vale soñar? Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's um um you get, well there's not an expression exactly like that, but um yes, um you need it's it's good to dream. Right? It's good to dream. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good guys. Now we're going to move on um to the next part. We're gonna be looking at transitions, okay. Um, I need a volunteer to help me read about transitions. Who can help me with reading this part right here? Me, teacher. Okay, go for it. Transition words, like in addition, furthermore, moreover, moreover and besides, add information reinforce ideas and express agreement with ideas that have been presented previously. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so basically transitions, the, the words, um, the grid trail tells you what it is, right? Um, sorry, I, I, there's a spell, spelling mistake here. Sorry, it's transitions, not transitions. So, um, so transitions, what they do, the word tells you, they help you to, um, to make a transition from one idea to the next idea. Okay, that's what a transition does. So you have two separate sentences and we connect the two sentences by using a word that will help us transition to the next idea. And that's why we call them transitions. And those transitions that we're going to be talking about specifically right now, there are many, 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 many transition words. But the one that we're going to be talking about right now are words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides. And all of these words, what they're doing is they're adding information they're reinforcing the ideas that you mentioned before, and they're expressing agreement with the ideas that have been recently presented. Okay, so I need a volunteer to help me read this part right here. Who can help me read? Me, teacher. Okay, go for it, Jerry. In the sentences. A, we, we work a, with target or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be hosting each group and the location for each. Thank you. Okay, good. So basically here we have two ideas. It's uh, what we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna be doing is we work with targeted and random samples. Okay, that's the first idea. The second idea is we need to discuss who will be posting each um, group and the location of each. So we're going to connect these two ideas saying that they have similar ideas um, by using the word in addition, okay? So let me...
So the word in addition is connecting this idea with the second idea. It's, get, it's adding information, okay? All right, now number letter B, who would like to read letter B for me? Me, teacher. Who? Me, teacher. Oh, okay. Um, okay, go for it. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. Good, okay. Questionnaire. 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 Mm -hmm. Question. Good. Very good, exactly. Um, so here we are saying, okay, so this is like the first idea, the second idea, and this is a third idea, okay? So what we're doing here um, is we are reinforcing the idea, okay? And we're using it by connecting, hold on. We're connecting this first, this first and second idea to this third idea here. And that's why we use furthermore. Do you remember the word further? We talked about this before. Remember? Yeah. So you guys remember that furthermore is going más lejos, right? So furthermore is it has the same idea, furthermore. So más lejos de eso. We're gonna be talking about that. So it's like an additional idea, okay? All right, now I need somebody to re help me read letter C. Somebody who has not helped, um, who has not helped us yet? A volunteer? Me teacher. Uh, Luis? Yes. Okay, go for it. Okay. In order to select a focus group to test a product, it is important to gather a group of participants who make direct use of final product or service. Moreover, it's necessary to choose a moderator for every group. Okay, good. All right, so here again, this word, moreover, expresses um, like an agreement um, or like a, an additional information that we need to add here, right? Um, okay, so we have, it's important to gather a group of participants. Also, it's necessary to choose a moder moderator for each group. Okay, so we have two things that are important to do. Okay, all right. And I need someone to help me read the punctuation. And, and when I say punctuation, I mean everything right here in the light blue color. Who can help me read that? No se peleen por el turno. Okay, I can help. Uh, punctuation. Okay. Notice that the transitions in addition and furthermore in A and B are preceded by a question mark and a period and followed by a comma. In C, the transition moreover is preceded by a semicolon and followed by a comma. Thank you. Okay, very, very good. Okay, so remember A, B, and C, sorry, no, sorry, A and B are related, right? So in this first one, we have the question mark, okay? The question mark finishes the first idea. And then the second idea comes. Now, because the second idea comes and then the third idea comes, 
we are going to connect those two ideas. Um, and this time, what we're going to be doing is using a comma. Okay, so we put the, the we use the transition. And after the transition, we use a comma. Okay, so the comma is in addition, comma. Mm. So uh, always after a, a question mark, we use in addition. No, 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 no. no. We can e either use either one or the other. No, okay, let me explain this a little better. Okay, so this is the first idea. Mm -hmm. will, will we work with targeted or random samples? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the first idea. So after the first idea, whether it's a comma, sorry, what's, whether it finishes, in a, it's a question and it finishes in a question mark, or if it's a, a regular sentence and it finishes in a period, the next word that is going to connect the ideas is a transition. Like mm, transition. Okay, okay. What's important about this is that we understand that after the transition, we always use a comma. A comma. That's what is important. Mm. Okay. Yes, and we use in addition because you mentioned that furthermore is most using when like a conclusion, like a consequence. Uh, no, that was that was uh, therefore. Oh, I'm, I mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, in addition, furthermore, and moreover are very similar transitions. Oh, they, they kind of mean okay. the same idea, like they're interchangeable, really. Okay. But we depend what symbol we have in the sentence that it's going, that where are we going to use, for example, I- uh -huh. that, that is what I want to know. Moreover, is we are going to use next to the semicolon. No, 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 We're, okay. No? No, or... what it's saying is that if the first idea finishes in a period or a, um, yeah, or a question mark, and the next, the next idea is going to start with a transition. Mm -hmm. And after the transition, we put a comma. That's what, that's the only thing we're saying here. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. in other words, we're saying the transition before the transition comes a period or a question mark. And after the transition, we put a comma. A comma. That's what it's saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now in the case of moreover, you will notice that you do not use a period or a question mark. Instead, what do we use? A semicolon followed by a comma. Exactly, we have a semicolon here, okay? Mm. Um, so, but we are independent if it's a semicolon, we're always going to finish off with a comma. After. So in this case, the three words we are looking at right now, after those words, always we use a comma. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to tell you something that is not mentioned here, but that you that you will find out in at some moment. You can also put the word you, these words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, those all of those transitions. You can also put them in the middle of the sentence. Mm, I was about to say. But if it's in the middle of the sentence, it's going to be preceded by a comma? No. Uh, no, yes, it's going to be. Oh, yes? Yes. It's going to be preceded by a comma and it's going to be followed by a comma. So in other words, it's going to look like this. So it's going to look like this. Um, da -da -da.
Okay, so it's gonna look a da -da, um, or service oh. or services. Hmm. Okay. Um, it is necessary. Is necessary. Um, no, hold on. It is. It is. Moreover. It is moreover. To it is no, hold on, necessary. It is necessary to choose a moderator for every group. Okay, so this is also another possibility. Okay, now if you notice, you also you in this case we didn't begin the. In this case, we didn't begin the um, the sentence. We didn't begin the sentence with the word moreover. We put the word moreover over here, if you noticed. So that is possible too. Now, if that happens, two things you gotta know. If that happens, it's because we're not putting so much emphasis on, we're not really reinforcing the idea. We're not putting so much em emphasis on the, on the addition, okay? So the, the more, the further away from the beginning of the sentence, that the transition is, the weaker it is, okay? So entre más lejos del principio está la, el, la palabra de transición, más débil llega a ser, okay? So that's one thing you gotta know. The second thing you gotta know is that we use, we use commas, not only after the word moreover, but also before. Okay, so we use it before and after the transition. Okay. Does that make sense? The far the transition word is? The further. The le uh huh? Mm -hmm. uh, the less strong the idea is, something you said, something like that? The, the yes, the, the less, or, or better said, the, the weaker. Ah, uh, weaker. The weaker the transition becomes. Weaker the transition becomes. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we're not putting so much emphasis there anymore. Mm, okay. Okay. Sounds good? Yeah, okay. All right, so that's about punctuation. And um, it says here, can somebody help me read this last part? A blend here to help me read this last part. Um, me? Okay, yes, go for it. The decision to separate the two ideas with a period question mark plus transition or with a semicolon plus transition is a matter of personal style. Okay, thank you. So in other words, if you want to 
do it this way or you want to do it this way that's up to you okay it grammatically speaking both of them are correct because what is do you guys remember why we use semicolon what's the difference between a period and a colon and a semicolon Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a period and a semicolon? No idea? I guess. I guess. Mm. Uh, teacher, your question is, what is a semicolon? No, my question is, what is the difference between a period and a semicolon? Maybe a period is when you change um, a new idea. Mm -hmm. Or you complete the idea. Uh -huh. Okay, um, normally periods indicate that the idea is finished, okay? That's why we use a period. Or a question mark indicates that the question is finished. But a semicolon, what it does, it shows us that there is a, like there is a very strong connection between this idea and the second, and the next idea. So it's kind of like the idea stops because we need to stop because we need to take a breath and you know breathe and like that's why you need a pause there. But the two ideas are very connected. Okay, the two ideas are, you know, they they complement each other. They're very connected. So because we are adding information, then it is possible to have the semicolon because that just shows us that the two ideas are connected. Does that make sense? Yes? Mm -hmm. We're talking about the same idea, but making a pause, adding information. Yeah, so it's like they, not the same idea, but very similar ideas very mm -hmm. they're closely okay. related son hermanas mm -hmm. son ideas son ideas hermanas okay does mm -hmm. that make sense but in that case what when are we going to use comma uh you always have to use a comma if you notice, we have a comma here, in addition, comma, furthermore, comma, moreover, comma. So we're always gonna use a comma. The different, the, the only thing you're gonna choose is if you're gonna put a period at the end of the first idea or a, a, or a question mark, right? It's possible, so, or you're gonna put a semicolon. Like it says here, it's a matter of personal style okay so you decide what you what you like more does that make sense for you guys so far so good does that make sense mm -hmm. yeah Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Oh, but it's better said I'm going to stop. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop sharing this slide. And we're gonna look at the next part, which is the following. So it says working pairs. So the, uh, join your, your assigned breakout room. Write a 10 line paragraph about the advantages 
and disadvantages of implementing a focus group test a focus group test, a product. Uh, use the transitions of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages below. Okay, so here are the advantages, sorry, here are the disadvantages and here are the advantages. Okay, and you're gonna be writing a paragraph, a 10 line paragraph. Of course, you need to be using transitions for addition. Does that make sense? Yes, no? Focus group. Yes? Okay. So we're looking at the advantages and disadvantages of implemented in a focus group test, okay? And you can use these things for advantages and disadvantages, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to make the groups, uh, the, yeah, the break groups right now. Um, and I'll give you about 15 minutes. Yeah, that should be good. Um, and we'll have pairs. Okay. okay, let's open up all the rooms. Hello, how are you? Teacher, how are you? Hi. Are you alone? Uh, no, you're not alone because uh, you haven't you haven't entered a group. Um, you are supposed to be in group number six. You're in group number six. No. Okay. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Bye. Le voy a mandar una. Le voy a mandar una solicitud, pero no, no, no la acepte. Okay. No, no la acepte todavía. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Now you, now you can accept it. Okay. ¿Qué pasó, Reverend? Uh, you're muted. Uh, there might be a problem. Teacher, estoy, uh, sí, estoy alone. <laughs> I am alone. So, no. so. Voy a irme al grupo y de ahí usted lo voy a llamar, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Yo... Teacher. Uh -huh. We have to choose some topic or, or only speak about uh, with the advantage and disadvantage of the focus group. Um, hold on, just give me a moment that I'm trying to solve a problem. Okay. Okay, sorry, all right. So Natalia, could you repeat that question? Okay, we have to choose some topic to talk about or, or write 10 lines or only we have to write advantage or disadvantage of the focus group. The, the advantage of the choose a, a, a some topic of the test group. No, 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 no. Just the advantages and disadvantages, but you have to use transitions. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, see you girls. Hey. Okay. 
So do we understand? Uh, I understand, teacher, but I don't know how we have to write 10 lines because 10 lines is like a conversation. No, not a conversation. Um, just 10 lines, just linear. Yeah, use talking about the advantages and disadvantages, right? So um, to give an example, um, there are many advantages of, there are many advantages and disadvantages of using a focus group in a, um, to test a product. Uh, the first disadvantage I'm gonna talk about is blah, 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 blah. Furthermore, da, 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 da. Um, moreover, da, 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 da. But furthermore is used when you have a question that nope. precede a mark. They're all the same. They all mean the same thing. In addition, furthermore, moreover, they all mean the same thing. Okay? Does that mm. make sense? The yes, but, but always have a mark of question, a question mark before. No, no. In no. furthermore, in addition, no. No. It doesn't matter. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Continue then. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, in addition, easily measure customer reaction is an advantage. Is Helps Ad, the advantage state. is the positive disadvantage is what is not helping us to make this so the disadvantages are not enough stereotypes in the selected audience not considering that the participants are part of the target language dominant personality within the group that is a very important. So we can say like, on the other hand, disadvantage eh, are like a dominant personality within the group. Algo así, y en el caso de moreover, it's preceded by a semicolon. Mm. If a semicolon is adding, we can, oh my God, we can write something like that, like starting with the advantages and then the disadvantages. You can write right there, right? I can, in the, in the, you can write right in your, in your, Hi, for the book. Oh, yeah. Yes, you are able to write it, uh, write in your book, right? Okay. Or, or, or maybe I think we can. Maybe. Uh, copy in on a different. Yeah. Mm, okay. Ah, maybe you can copy paste on a white page, and we take the ideas from that from there. Yep. Uh -huh. Copy and paste. The, and, uh -huh. the, and the I, I think the advantage on on the the others the product uh, um, discovered that are the characteristics of the your product. But the reality is, but the reality is inexpensive. It's a no expensive, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. 
Yes. The, the advantage is relatively inexpensive. Inexpensive, that means in, inexpensive for you. Eh, no es muy caro. Ajá, no es muy caro. Es cheap. Ah, tiene variedad de opiniones. Y el último es. I create in un label opinions. Yeah, yeah. Eh, exacto y, y opiniones inviables, algo así, creo que. Inviables, yeah. ah, no, no sé qué significa eso, pero I don't know what it means. Um, Uh, unbiased. The word that unbiased. Unbiased. Mm. Unbiased. Imparcial is accurate. Aim. It's about the, with the low price, with the good opinions, and exactly opinion. Did you say they change the, the world? Se puede poner gran cantidad. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. I have another one. Um, let me check. Uh, yes, in addition. A focus group offer immediate idea for product concept improvements. In addition, help to identify requirement of final customer. It's, it's another advantage. Um, let me check another. Uh, another is it is a uh, useful it in the different phase of a business project. I can hear you enough well. Okay. Um, can you write it on the chat? I can hear you. How are you guys doing? Do you need any help? Um, I am writing about um, uh, uh, advantage for the focus group. Okay. And I am I, I am writing right now. <laughs> Let me show you. And Juan Francisco is looking for another advantage. Okay. We have two. Yes. You can you can use the ones that we have in in there in the in the table okay in the manual yeah okay. yeah that's what you're supposed to use so you're okay looking for more right there just use the ones that, that have been given to you okay okay, okay perfect mm -hmm. all right let me check another one um Inexpensive is like a no es costoso. Yes. Yes. So at the so, end, that will be you, you will be healthy. Fine, fine. Which 
we divided the for for presentation. Good. Okay. Uh, remember, the idea is also to write, right? You have to write so that mm -hmm. you can um, use the transitions correctly. Okay. Yes, okay. We, we, we write. So lemma is going to be the disadvantage, and I will present the advantage. Okay. Perfect. Sounds good. And we finish. All right. Okay. Because and, and the match and the soccer match finished too. Oh so really? Too. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. why you're hearing all of these uh, firecrackers. ¿Qué pasó? Who who won? Uh, oh, one. <laughs> zero to zero. ¿Cómo se dice empatar? Se me ha olvidado. Tied. Tied. Uh -huh. They tied. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, but it's good. Yeah, I guess so. In the, in the United States. Teacher, and, and we, are talking, we, we are talking with Suleima about the time. Is tomorrow will we will be the do the presentation or today because no. now it's 11. No, no, 11. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no. Esta tarde, pero no tanto. <laughs> no, teacher. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, this is for tomorrow. Sorry. But I don't want to continue to 11. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment, okay? Okay. Okay, Bye. thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Listen. Me is the first one. Present teacher. <laughs> this is a, a this is a random attendant. <laughs> <laughs> a uh, random sample. <laughs> a random sample. Uh, All right, guys. Um, are you guys finished, or do you need more time? Oh yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, yes. Tomorrow, teacher, because I. It is, it, is, it is sarcastic, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to go to sleep. Yeah, I know, I know. But I, I'm not saying that you're going to present right now. I'm just saying, did you guys finish? Or do you, or, or do you need more time for tomorrow? Yes, no hours tomorrow for, for tomorrow. Time, they have the... For tomorrow. All right, sure. No hours for tomorrow. <laughs> No, okay, but I'll give you some time tomorrow. Okay, so Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Great. Andres? Claudia? Edgar? Irvin? Present teacher. Heidi? Irene? Ivan? Present teacher. Jose Montes, Jose Ayala, Josué, Present teacher. Juan Francisco, Present teacher. Jury, Present teacher. Luis, Present teacher. Um, Natalia. Present teacher. Good. Ronald. Present teacher. Uh, Wendy. Present. Warner. Leaving the stadium teacher present. Okay, and Yvonne. Present. Okay, good. All right, okay, excellent thing, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, I won't take more of your time so that you guys can go ahead and, um, and enjoy the, the
the um, the celebration of the of the game. <laughs> all right, so that'll be all. Um, I'll just um, stay with uh, Josue, okay, and everybody else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night bye. Bye. See, you. see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. bye. Tomorrito. Tomorito. <laughs> All right, we'll swear. Okay, so tell me, what can I help you with? I have a problem with uh, <laughs> pronunciation. Uh, I don't know how can you improve. Okay, you have problems with pronunciation. Yeah. So you what you want is to be able to um, find out like how you can improve that and things like that. Or no. No. Or, no. What? Or you have specific words that you would like me to help you with? No, not specific uh, because um, when I'm reading. Um, I stop when I never saw a word and I have some doubts. Um, is um, pronounced like this or like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So you, you, you stop reading it because you're afraid that you're gonna mispronounce it. Yeah. Uh-huh, I see, okay. All right, um, something that you can try is try to relate words to see if maybe you can, if there is a word that you already know how to pronounce that are similar, then you can, you have the same, you have that idea. Oh, okay, so this word is similar, so you must pronounce it like this. What I mean by that is the following. Um, to give an example, I'm going to write in the chat. Um, let's say that, um, I don't know, let me think about a word. Um, let's see. Um, Okay. Okay, like this. Um, how do you spell this word? Um, the well, how do you pronounce this word? Sorry. How do you pronounce you, it? Have you, have it too? Okay. All right. Now this word here, you may have a little bit of problems pronouncing it, but then you would look at uh, maybe another word that that has a similar meaning or that finishes in a similar way. Like for example, we can think about this word. Delicious. Ah, good. Okay, so you know that word, delicious. Delicious. So that word at, at the end, it's very similar, right? The ending okay. is very similar. So how would you pronounce this, the first word? If, if the second word is delicious, shus, then how would you pronounce the second, the first word? Um, delicious. Exactly, there you go. That's how you would pronounce it. So do you see what I'm saying? You can relate words um, that are, like you can see words that are similar so that you can um, try to figure out how you pronounce the other words. Yeah, so that could help you. The other thing that could help you is um, by maybe you can watch, do, do you watch any, any, any TV, movie, series? Oh. Or not so much? You don't watch? Not TV? much, not much. No, you don't watch TV, okay, all right. Um, music? No much. I like some some songs. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, All right. It's not a hobby for me. Okay, it's not a hobby. All right, but let's try to make it. Like I know that maybe it's not a hob a, a hobby, but let's yeah. try to make it into a hobby. Um. So and and use it kind of like for for your 
study time. So um, I guess you wouldn't have Netflix, right? If you're yeah. not, you do, you do have a Netflix? Yeah, I have Netflix. All right, perfect. Okay. So I, I, I like, I like using the Netflix because with Netflix, you can use many different um, subtitles and audio, you can change it. Yeah. So something you can try, even if it's not every day, but you know, maybe on your day off, you can watch a series and put it with, so, like watch it in English, right? Yeah, with title in English. Yeah, and what? Yeah, they're, although they're called captions, they're not called subtitles. But yes, put the 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 captions in English, and that way you can start not only hearing English but also seeing how it's pronounced. So you can see the word and see how they are pronounced in that word. Yeah. Yeah. So that could be something that could help you. The same thing with music. Um, you can go like, for example, on YouTube. And you know those songs that you say that you like. You can look them up and look for yeah, them. Yeah, with with lyric. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, okay. Okay, so that that could that could also help you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, I I just remembered right now. I I wanted to send um, to the group on a website a web a website that you can go to. Um, it's very useful for listening, but now that you've talked about pronunciation, it can also be very useful for that because this, this one is, the focus is listening, but they have the audio and the script. So you can actually follow the script at the same time and see how people are pronouncing it. And this guy that, um, that uh, makes the, the, um, the audios, he speaks really fast and he speaks like very native English. And um, so you will be able to easily pick up and say, oh yeah, that's, that, that is the way that you are supposed to pronounce it, right? And it's going to make your, your ear accustomed to, to the correct pronunciation, okay? So I'll add that to the group right now, okay? okay. All right. Uh, another thing in the platform, um number 2.5 i can uh when i put uh sent is not um low i don't know what happened Okay, just give me a second while I look for it. So uh, you say that when you when you do what? Sí, lo puedo lo explicar en español. En la plataforma el ejercicio 2.5 uh, utilizo la selección múltiple, uh -huh. pero para darle enviar, o sea, para que me den el resultado, no me aparece como activo el enviar y tengo todas las las preguntas seleccionadas. Podría compartir pantalla sí, para sí, a qué se refiere. Um, but I you must have compartiendo teams. No, 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 Teams no, Yo creo que quizás le dio seleccionar una, una en particular. Ahorita, ahorita. Ok, hoy sí. Uh -huh. Oh, había algún problema entonces porque anteriormente lo seleccionaba todos y no me daba la opción de enviar. Ok, sí, puede, a veces hay problemas en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Pero quizás, um, ajá, o sea, tal vez con, de conexión entre o lo que sea, ¿verdad? Y a veces eso pasa, pero, um, pero después se, se actualiza. Uh -huh. okay. 
Sí, Entonces, pero, estamos bien, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Sí, por, por el momento sería eso. Ok, ok. I, I, I noticed you. ¿Verdad que hizo la unidad 3? Usted, ¿verdad? No. No, 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 no. Ahorita lo estoy terminando porque tenía problemas con ese, pero sí me, me tengo que poner, o sea, terminar prácticamente en esa semana porque he estado ocupado con el trabajo. Ok, ok. Va a estar bien. ¿Cuándo tienes su día libre? Ah, mañana. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ah, pues sí. Entonces le da chance para, para ponerse el día. Ok, excelente. Ok. ¿Alguna otra cosita? No, por el momento creo que pues las clases, como que las dudas siempre trata de, de resolverlas y pues le agradecería. Y pues por eso le agradezco. Son muy buenas las clases. Okay. I'm, I'm happy I can help you. <laughs> okay. Tú. ok, good, good. Ok. Bueno, cualquier cosita que necesite, um, si sí, puede escribir en el grupo o me puede escribir directamente lo que usted desee um, y le puedo resolver algún, alguna duda de la plataforma o cualquier cosita, ¿verdad? Entonces, puede ser que me tarde un tantito para responder porque a veces paso bien ocupado durante el día, pero no. con gusto. Ahí yo le voy a... Lo, más rápido que pueda leer, respondo. ¿Ok? No, de hecho, o sea, sabemos la disposición que tiene y creo que el grupo está complacido con la forma como nos ha enseñado todos los módulos anteriores y este también. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I could help. <risa> <risa> ok. Um, bueno, ¿alguna otra cosita que...? No, por el momento sería eso, Miss Jessica. Ok. Vaya, pues entonces... Os fue un gusto y se cuida mucho y have a good night. Good night. Okay.